Hi there. Welcome to Home Wizards. I'm Cindy Dole. Hey, I'm Eric Stromer. And we love to improve your home and improve your life. And yeah. we have found a wonderful app. If you love to garden and if you love to come up with great containers with plants and flowers and you just are kind of like, I don't know which one to go with. Well, you know, that right? that's overwhelming, by yeah. the way. And I think... Well, talk that, about your recent trip to one of these stores. Well, I'll tell you. Well, first of all, trying to just go figure out what to do, what to get. And, you know, I went to a big box store and I wanted some tomatoes. And, you know, the, the tags on them aren't, aren't that obvious and not clear what, you know, like one of them said, you know, to, if you want to slice tomatoes, this is a good one. Or big ones. <laughs> Great. Get this one. You know, it's just not specific and... You know, without what, combinations and ideas. Yeah, and, and and you see all these great ideas when when you go to some of these nurseries, right? But how do you achieve that? How do you do that? You know, unless you've got years of horticultural training, mm -hmm. or or you're a landscape designer, mm -hmm. or you just copy something out of a magazine. You know, it's difficult to mm -hmm. figure out how to put these unorthodox combinations together to kind of get the look and feel of these real professionals that do right, this, right? Right. So we found this app that I think really speaks to that and makes things so much easier because, you know, oftentimes you don't realize, okay, and we talk about this a lot on the show with design, it's, you know, you want a, a higher object, you want something medium height, and then you want something low in the front, like proscenium seating in a theater. So you can see everything, right? You mean filler, spiller, and thriller. Oh no, you didn't. What are you, Johnny Cochran? All of a sudden, wow. <laughs> no, these are the terms. These are the terms from. The, and let's just tell you what the app is called. It's yeah. from our friends at Burpee yes. Home. Burpee Home Gardens. They're part of. You've, you've heard of Burpee Seeds, right? Yeah. Well, they have a whole other division. Burpee Home Gardens is part of the ball plant, and they are the biggest, best, uh, you know, growers of all things garden and plants. But it, the app is called Burpee B U R P E E Coach dot com, right. and then you click on the thing that says. My designer, and it says, "Let's make a container." And, and so you and click that, on and it. And by the way, to that, "Let's make a container" is is applicable to hanging baskets as well. Yes. It can be the same kind of thing, and that's my my thing. I'm so envious of people that have baskets. That have these really cool baskets, and you're, that's going to be your to do this spring. I'm doing it. So you you click on it, you go to Burpee coach.com and then you click on my garden designer yeah. and then it says let's make a container and I clicked on it and then it says I'm going to pick sun great but here's where the terms thriller filler and spiller Which come I think in are great. <laughs> because like we talk I mean they just made up a better name of it but it's the same idea of something tall right. something wide that fills it out right. and something that cascades over hence the spiller right. so the thriller is the tall the filler is the hefty you know fill it out they're little Pleasantly plump, and then the no, spiller. We'll, Zoftic. We'll call them Zoftic. Big bone. Yeah. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I always tell my sheepdog yeah. that she's, she's big, big bone. bone. Yeah. She's her hips no, are a little big. She, they're a little big. She's you know. She's trying. Rotund. Anyway, go ahead. So, but you get, but you get here and onto this app, and all of a sudden you go, okay, whoa. So it says now select your color, whether you want to have the thriller, which is the what. The tall one. That's right. And so let's say I want my thriller to be blue. Fine. I've picked my, my th you know. Th so you've already got a, p a color palette of and combinations then, yeah. available and to you. And then you click burgundy, and then you right. say, I also want the next one to be silver. Fine. Yeah. And guess what it does? Then it spits out a list like it says, okay, if you wanted your thriller, your top one to be white, well, you need Zinnia White Wedding. You want your filler, you know, to be kind of a blue. Well, Calabracoa, you want to have that in a deep blue. And then you want your spiller. Well, you've got to go with the Petunia Burgundy. And then you're done. And guess what you have now? You've got your shopping you've got list. You've got your shopping list. You've got the names of the plants. You've got the color combination that you were kind of overwhelmed by before. Yeah. You're done. And they, and they even give you like multiple design options. So I'm just loving this app. So burpeecoach.com. Get that today, and uh, and and then just go. You'll have so much fun. You can do all kinds of things and be your own designer. You sure, know? and then you can get your baskets involved in the same process because yes. it's the same principle. Obviously, it right? is exact same thing. I mean, and when we were visiting with these folks um, at in the Ventura area, right? Right, and by the way, guys, you got to understand. There's this this area in Southern California in a valley that. It's agriculture. Apparently, it's like one of God's great creations. If you're going to grow beautiful yes. flowers, this is the climate to yep. be in, and it's it because it's got coastal breezes. You know, the coast is only like five or seven miles away from this area, but it's got the hot, dry climate of this valley, 
and you drive up to this place and it, it's like it, I, I said it to you before it's like you're driving into the scene in the Wizard of Oz when it goes from black and white to color yep. and you got the little munchkin singing you see these vibrant beautiful <laughs> flowers <laughs> yeah it's like that right I couldn't believe it it, it, it was just well, extraordinary it was so exciting and we can't wait to share with you we're going to put the pictures on our website and on Facebook but we basically got a sneak peek into all of these new dozens and dozens of new flowers and plants and edible that are bigger and better and more vibrant that are coming out next year. And not only that, but growing specifically to things like containers, like yes. you live in a small space and you want to have tomatoes. Now they've developed a, 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 a species of these tomato plants that grow straight up. And progressively. And, and progressively. So it's like, hey, there's my big, perfect tomato. Oh, and look, four days later, here's another one. And it just comes that way rather than all at once, yeah, right? which you're like, you can't eat them all at once. Right, and the thing that appealed to me, none of this is genetic engineering. This right. is all naturally bred stuff that just shows up they from- have just dis- Because they have genius scientists in lab coats in the Chicago area who are figuring out nature's best way to come up with, you know, how they even come up with, with ways to parent two different kinds of plants. That's exactly right? right, yeah. And I'm so excited about this hydrangea that's coming out. It's called L.A. Dreamin. And it's like four different colors, four colors in one plant. Normally you would have to add all kinds of acidic things to get your hydrangea to turn a certain blue or purple, but this one does it on its own. Yep. And in one shrub, you're going to have one that kind of looks like a creamy to uh, like an apple green. Sure. Another that's like a pale pink, another one that looks more like a magenta and then like a deep bluish purple. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Amazing. I, I covet this plant. And then, the man, the cherry tomatoes were I know. just like candy. I mean, I could not believe how sweet they were. So let's talk about some ways that you, some things you can do by, besides getting this app uh, that you can do for your you know, container gardens, sure. right? For instance, you might want to try tulips and daffodils and hyacinths. And this is going to be a simple thing you can put in a ceramic bucket. And we'll get to that in more in just a second because there's so much to do in terms of creating spring container gardens, whether you have a little space or a lot of space. Eric Stormer, Cindy Dole, you're listening to Home Wizards. Welcome back. You're listening to Home Wizards. I'm Cindy Dole. Hey, I'm Eric Stromer. And when you're thinking about making a container uh, for flowers, for plants, I mean, everyone, it's just, it's this time of year where you want to just, I, I at least want to be surrounded by all this color and feel great about spring. And it can be as easy as putting things in a little container yeah, or a basket, yeah. right? And there's, there's some unorthodox choices that you might not necessarily understand or, or be privy to but if you use this app that we're talking about by yep. burpee which is amazing you get the concept of the, the thriller combos. the thriller filler and the spiller <laughs> and that can actually work in baskets it can work in in uh, urns it can work in pots yes, it can yes. work in garden beds so also. the app is called burpee if you go to burpeecoach.com yep. and then forward slash my designer but yeah so explain again the, th- the thriller so the thriller would be your tall vibrantly colored great shaped plants and then the next thing would be your filler which would be the medium height the yeah. stuff that sort of spreads right. on you and then of course your spiller that's kind of cascading over cascading the edge cascading over the edge that can be the front of the if it's a garden bed it could be the front area that can right. kind of fan out and give you the three different levels which we always talk about in design yeah it same holds true for fl- flower arranging plant arranging and anything else you can imagine where you want design to be viewed witnessed and understood it's it makes it so easy it's almost Doesn't like it? wow i can do this i agree and you i know? love the, the the terms thriller filler and spiller it makes me feel like Look, well, you're a superstar. Like I'm a superstar. That's right. <laughs> by the way, this uh, garden segment is brought to you by our friends at Bayard Vance. Better science, better results in the blue bottle, Bayard Vance. And so when you're getting the thriller, filler, and spiller, you might want to load up on some of their products in the blue bottle to help you keep those flowers, like the all-in-one flower care, to keep yep. it uh, vibrant and such. Good stuff. So for your containers, uh, how about something that's as, as simple as a painted uh, a wooden garden trug that kind of turns into a focal point with an annual dianthus that's also trailing with kind of create this abundant informal look. I mean, it's almost like here you have this 
piece of the garden. It's a, it's a part of a tree stub, basically, that says, you know, the rest isn't there. And now you take a little pot and you put it on top of that and then have the spiller you know, overflowing onto that. It looks like it always belonged in nature. All right, now check out how easy this is. I just yep. used the I just used the app. Okay. Now it's gonna sound like I really know my stuff. Check it out. Now for my part sun, part shade area, I wanted to do a garden bed. Guess what I'm gonna do? What? Well I'm gonna do for my thrill a little coleus sultana. Okay. Okay, so what does that look like? The oh, coleus. it's variegated, oh, oh, variegated we love that. the leaves that are sort yes. of red wine color with yes. the green on the outside. And typically that grows well in part sun and part that's shade. That's right, right. And right. it has that variegated, variegated leaf. Variegated leaf that I love. Gorgeous. Okay, so that's my thriller. Okay. My filler is going to be Impatience and Lighten, the Cranberry Burst, right? So oh, it gives yeah. you a pop of that color. Uh-huh. And then for my spiller, Dichondra Silver Falls. Oh, Good. That, right? the silver, the silver looks so and great. And all I do is I punched in the 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 app. Yep. There I have my choices. I have you five different it out. combinations of this. I can take it to the store. I can ask for this at the. With and my they're going to say, "Wait a minute, uh, do you want to work here? You you know I'm going to say, you know what? I, know. I, don't, I, I can't work here. You know why? Because I've got other gardens to attend to. <laughs> but I really love this. It makes it so much easier. It takes a guesswork. Out. Here's something that's really a fun idea for a spring basket. You can get a, a literal basket that has handles on it, right? Yeah. Loosely woven. And have you ever purchased the the flower called stock? It's like this very sweet perfume flower usually it's kind of in a shades of white or pink and it's it's kind of tall little little uh, blooms that go vertically up and down but it's really a beautiful flower and it's available in like I said the white pink purple even shades of red and yellow it's an mm. excellent cutting flower and uh, you can f- find it a lot of times in the grocery stores or in you know the floral arrangement shops you know but if you can grow it now you have it in your own basket so that it's not only in your garden or on your uh, deck but then you can cut a little bit of it and put it in a vase and bring a nice fragrance to inside. Very, very pretty. Yeah. That's so cool. Uh, and, and don't be afraid to mix when you're talking about unlikely colors. We saw this again when we were at the, the Burpee Garden um, flower show. Plum and red, you kind of you might think that those are kind of like conflicting colors, but they look so great together. The deep purple of that plum, almost like the burgundy, with the you know the white and pink geraniums, and you put that together along with some deep pink uh, pansies, mm, and all beautiful. that together. So you're seeing they're all in that kind of that red warm family, but it's burgundies and reds and pinks, and it really works well together. And put that in a little container that you might have. Maybe it's on a a windowsill or on a you know, a deck, that kind of a thing. Gorgeous, gorgeous, mm-hmm. gorgeous. You know, you know what else? I hate to keep dwelling on this app. Sure. But they actually now also give you, it tells you, do you have a small area to do, a medium area, or a large area? And then you click on that. It tells you how many plants to buy of each one. Very and it helpful. shows you the delineation of what the ratio should be. Right, so I need you know five of these, three of these, and and ten of these. Oh my right? gosh! I mean, come on. That's very helpful. That's taken away the landscape, scape architect's All your stress. Job. All your stress. Oh my goodness. Well, we're not taking it. Well, I guess we could. You could we with could. this thing. You can become your own landscape designer. I I can't believe it. I'm gonna get some some fa- some hate mail now from some <laughs> of my friends in this business. Now here's something you got to have some fragrance in uh, your space, and yeah. this is the time to get hyacinth. Oh, man. Hyacinth, it fills the air with a sweet perfume. It's almost as sweet as as jasmine and some of those others, right? Sure. But when you go to the local garden centers right now, you'll find them. Um, and if, you know, you'll, f- you'll find them in full bloom. And then make sure next time that you get the bulbs to, to have them grow next next time. And they'll you, you plant them earlier, um, in like in the fall, and then sure. they'll, they'll come to bloom in the spring. But buy the hyacinth right now along with uh, some of the other hydrangeas and you mix that. I love the hyacinth smell. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You mix that with the pinks and the blues and the purples in a container and it just, it gives you that height and the tuft and and again, the fragrance. Very cool. Yeah. And then let's tell them about the, the, was it the pansy that if it's if it's it's more drought tolerant, is that the right? One right. The burpee came up. With? Right. Uh-huh. Oh man! So this thing they sh- they have a video where like they show the wa- not getting water for a couple of days. It it wilts. You throw a little bit of water on it, and immediately about an hour later, the thing pops up, and it's almost it's more of a drought tolerant version of the pansy, which I think is such a great color to accent some of these things that we're talking about. And they have so many different varieties. I couldn't believe it. Gorgeous. 
right? Right. I mean, it's, it's all about making it more of a successful experience, you know, for the gardener. Because a lot of us, you know, we get frustrated. We we start and then either the plant dies or something, you know, we think that we're failing. And then we go, well, that wasn't very fun. I know. I'm not going to do that again. That's right. right. So here's something else you can try. It's a delicate white heart shaped flower. And it, um, it basically is the, called the perennial bleeding heart. And so check this out. You'll find this in the nurseries right now. And uh, you use that while the annual um, diacea, this compa- this kind of gives you the, the tall and the overflow. And you can use something as simple as a toolbox. And that can oh, now that's become cute. That's your container, a great idea. right? And so uh, the perennials spring to life, you know, as the container plants. And then after enjoying the flowers, you can transplant that now uh, to your garden to become a uh, permanent part of your Super landscape. Super cute, yeah. yeah. Just make sure you you drill some drainage holes. And we've seen that, you know, we've done it with the dresser where you take oh, the yeah. drawer and you use that, you know, maybe you, you have three drawers, you know, the top one is slightly open, the middle one is open a little more, and the bottom one's all the way open. And that, that becomes your planter. It's a really, really cute idea. I mean, really, anything can become a container. The idea is to just make sure that there's... Um, drainage and you're you know you're good to go right absolutely I, I just saw a really creative design where they used a suitcase oh that's good idea. right and then you use some of that um landscape liner that, that sure. kind of plastic yeah. uh sheet that you would then put inside um the uh, suitcase itself and then you would drill holes through the sheet of plastic that's right and the that's suitcase right. itself you get your drainage. put in some soil and the lid just kind of popped up and then you put in these various Plants using the app that we love, you know, the uh, the burpee, uh, burpeecoach.com, and then you've got, you're good to go. So good. Yeah. Even just old buckets, even the wellies. Remember how cute that was? There was uh, like an old boot that becomes a planter too. Anything can be a planter. The point is just go out and try it and do it. Right. 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 I mean, it's, in terms of using a boot, that is really cute because if you had some old garden boots that weren't really uh, being used anymore. I mean, just drill a couple holes in that, and now that becomes a cute little decorative accent. Yeah, and then for drilling like a, a galvanized bucket if you need drainage, for example, just just go ahead and use a, a regular drill bit for metal. It's very, very easy to drill through that stuff. Uh, and wear safety glasses, obviously. Mm-hmm. You don't want that stuff to get up into your eyes. And that's it. It's just that simple. Why not try using a wagon, too? That's a great uh, I love container. that. I, little... I have an old wagon sitting there and not, not being used. I'm going to do the same thing. And then you can drag it around with you if you needed to have different sun exposure, you know? Mm-hmm. Cute. You can also make something as easy as like a little fairy garden out of an old hospital nursery crib. So imagine that if you had an old crib and then inside you put these different plants in there and you could actually have like a little um, a little bird's nest. You could have a miniature uh, gazing globe in there, um, a little bird feeder, any of that, a little miniature fencing. It becomes kind of like a little environment. It's a baby. It's a baby environment inside the nursery crib. Really cute. Very, very clever. Love it. But the idea, again, is to just make sure that you choose your plants correctly, have enough drainage, and then the sky's the limit. That's right? it. And right? you are now all of a sudden a fancy gardener. Right. This is brought to you by Bayer Advance. Remember that uh, you too can be a successful gardener. Just check out for the blue bottle, BayerAdvance.com. When we come back, we have some more fun things to talk about. Eric Stormer, Cindy Dole, you're listening to Home Wizards. He'd let us in, knows where we've been, in his octopus's. 